John Cena, how are you? Very good. Fantastic. I feel like you're one of the few people in my life who I've seen on, whether it's on TV or in the cinema, for basically my whole life. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> well, uh, I thank you, I hope. That is also a compliment. Okay, yeah. thank you, thank you. How do you keep it exciting though? Because you've done so many different types of roles. Oh, that's easy, man. I, I, I love what I do. That's, I mean, I could extend on that answer, but I think yeah. it's well put as it is. I, I, I love what I do, and that's what constantly draws me back. You've played a mixture of villains and heroes in the past, and your character in Bumblebee is a bit more complicated. He's kind of an antagonist, but for slightly different reasons, more personal reasons. What do you prefer, though? I think it's the challenges of, um, you know, maybe exploring the role of a bad guy are interesting. Uh, the comforts of knowing my character in WWE after so many years is also interesting. Like, I, w once again, I think it just goes back to not preferring either or, it's just um, being grateful to be a part of something good that you can go out and entertain folks. Obviously, you've done a lot of action things in the past, mm -hmm. and this is an action-packed film as well. How do you prepare for a film like Bumblebee? Oh, just know the material. And I, th I think uh, that is first and foremost, because the falling down stuff, that's more stuff that you can kind of uh, get accustomed to, and that's yeah. regardless of your background. I think knowing the material in Bumblebee or in any other venture is first and foremost and most important. Was acting and being in film something that you always wanted to do when you started your career as a wrestler? I didn't think any of this would ever happen. What I, I, what I wanted to do when I started getting thrown around in a small gym in Orange County, California, <laughs> is keep getting thrown around in that small gym in Orange County, California. So it's yeah. been a hell of a ride since then. Yeah, and you're able to do it all at the same time. You still get thrown around. Yes, and indeed. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Um, obviously, you star alongside Hayley Steinfeld in Bumblebee. What was it like working with her? Amazing. Uh, so wise for being so young. So driven for being so young. And has the same passion about projects. Like she's, she's really passionate about what she's done here and understands the scope of, like, it's kind of... You know, she's, she's responsible for redefining this whole thing. And she yeah. did a great, great job. And while she was doing it, she was recording music, planning a tour, going every which way but loose. Like, a, yeah. how, did, how did you, it was amazing to see somebody manage all those things. Yeah. When I asked her how it was working with you, oh boy. she um, commented on your sense of humor and how you liked having kind of a lot of fun on set. What was it like on set behind the scenes? To me, it was fun because you step onto these set pieces that whether it's intimate like Haley's house or massive like a scene in the desert where we pull up 20 Humvees. Yeah. You're making a Transformers movie. Yeah. Like, you can't, it's, we all have bad days, but damn, it's tough to have one on, in that circumstance. So yeah. if I ever thought that maybe everybody needed to pick me up, like I'd be the first one to yeah. make fun of myself or, or do something and just give everybody perspective. One of the first scenes in the film is kind of when you see Bumblebee for the first time. Yeah. Um, obviously, or I imagine Bumblebee's not actually there when you're filming it. How do you have, there's some quite touching moments in that film, yes. uh, which really help to define, in that, those scenes that help to define the rest of the film. How do you act in that circumstance when the thing isn't actually in front of you? Imagination. And yeah. that's, that's what makes this profession so fun you get to use your creativity. And I think we're all, all of us, whether in front of or behind the camera are here because we love to be creative. I love that imaginative element. Yeah. I love seeing a stick with a tennis ball and imagining Bumblebee. I think yeah. that's what's great about it. And did you imagine, when you were in doing that, is, does he look like how you imagined? He, this movie has exceeded my wildest dreams. I think the way it came out is perfect. The view of Bumblebee, the view of the Decepticons, all of it is so much wilder than I ever expected, but in a way that makes the movie extremely powerful. Now, the film's steeped in 80s culture with a mostly 80s soundtrack. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your favorite 80s song? Uh, um, man, that's a great question. Van Halen Jump comes to mind. Okay. Uh, Guns N' Roses Paradise City comes to mind. Yeah. But I mostly listen to rap music. So oh, really? those are two way off kilter, but the, the, I mostly listen to rap. Fantastic. Well, John Cena, thank you very much. Thanks so much.